The big national story we're tracking more skeletons stumbling out of the cupboard of the Delhi cab rape accused a day after investigations revealed that Yadav had uh, assaulted close to 10 women in his hometown. Another case of harassment by the driver has come to light. A woman who used Uber cab a few days before the rape claims that Shiv Yadav misbehaved with her as well. Taking to social networking site Twitter, the woman posted that she had booked an Uber cab on the 26th of last month and rape accused Shiv Kumar Yadav was a driver who had been assigned to her. She claims he misbehaved with her during the cab ride. Post the incident, she lodged a complaint against Yadav with Uber and they responded via an email promising to act against him. But Shiv Kumar Yadav continued to drive for Uber until the December 7 incident where he assaulted a 27-year-old MNC executive. And Headlines Ray spoke to the cab user who had first raised a red flag against Shiv Kumar Yadav when she had an unpleasant experience on the 26th of November. Take a look. I, so when I got in the cab, I, at first there was some issue with the GPS and I didn't think anything of it. Um, everything seemed fine after that. Basically, the whole time I felt as if the driver was staring at me through the rear view mirror and he was smiling a little creepily made me feel uncomfortable and so when given the option at the end of the uber cab ride to report the user or to give feedback i just wrote that he stared at me that was it i mean i mentioned i don't know if i mentioned to you earlier when i first got into the cab he had said that uh his gps wasn't accurate or wasn't working so that in retrospect seems quite suspect but at the time, I didn't think anything of it. I did not know. The reality of the situation is this is not a lone incident, right? This is not the first time I felt uncomfortable in a cab. This has happened to me many times before, but it was the first time I had the option to write something down to report this in an easy manner. Um, I have in other situations dealt with the police, and that's never been a pleasant experience. And on top of that, I was also going to a lot of meetings because I was there to try and install toilets so I I did what I could in the time I had and then had to head out. Let's get an over from our correspondent Ankit Tyagi who is with us live from the national capital this morning. Ankit, this latest te testimony with a passenger who had an unpleasant experience with the same driver on the 26th of November following which he registered a complaint with Uber shows that uh, Uber failed to react to complaints. Not only that, now this is going to be a problem for Uber. It will only compound their problems now. In fact, I spoke to senior for officials in Delhi police and they said that uh, with this uh, new old testimony coming into light, they might even try and contact uh, uh, the woman uh, on over email and try and get uh, a response from her. Uh, that they will of course uh, be using uh, against uber uh, remember that uh, an fir has already been uh, lodged against uber under section 188 and uh, section 420 of the ipc uh, it is not a named fir against an individual but against the company and now the delhi police is looking to fix responsibility as far uber's uh, lack of uh, security measures are concerned now having said that once uh, the, the police has also investigated that there are uh, se uh, se several cases of uh, sexual assault against uh, this offender apart from that not only did the uber uh, fail to check all this but also uh, did not act on the complaint made by the woman uh, who in fact uh, you just uh, you know showed that heard that uh, uh, you know voice record off so now the police is saying that this will only uh, add to uber's misery as far as the investigations are against uh, shiv kumar yadav uh, goes silly uh, the police has already recovered two mobile phones today they said that uh, l uh, either last night uh, or today in the morning early morning they are uh, close to recovering uh, the cell phone on which this application was uh, installed through which uh, uh, Shiv Kumar Yadav was right. using this uh, mobile phone. Uh, they are also questioning the two other drivers, those who were also employed by Shiv Kumar Yadav, those who were also driving the taxi. So uh, it, the police is uh, now moving ahead and making a watertight case. Already they have said that they will file the, the uh, charge sheet in this case uh, right. in, uh, in less than 20 days and then a fast track court of course uh, will uh, take cognizance of that. Anke, thanks so much for that update. The news clearly tightening, uh, tightening against uh, the cab uh, service as well. Now Uber continues to be under scanner after it's come to light that uh, it failed to react to that first complaint.